up. Senior Day festivities wrap up. We can finally start to think about game time one more time for the regular season. That's right, regular season finale coming up right here on Schellenberger Field, and it could not be bigger between your Lynchburg Hornets and the visiting Hampton Sydney Tigers. I am Sam Graham, as always, and really, really excited. Cannot say enough about the matchup I expect us to get here today. These two teams played an absolute classic a year ago and then followed that up by meeting in the 2022 ODAC Championship. Today, it's for all the marbles as far as the regular season is concerned. Home field throughout. We will determine whether or not the road will go through Lynchburg or Hampton, Sydney on the path to the 2023 ODAC title game. But before we really get things going up here in the broadcast booth, got a chance to catch up pregame for a rare pregame interview with Riley Mitchell, one of those seniors being honored down on the field today, leader of the Hornets both on and off the field and also in the points department. He will certainly be a big factor today. We'll get you that interview right here. Joined here by senior men's lacrosse player Riley Mitchell for a rare pregame interview, but got a big one coming up here. And to make matters even bigger, it's senior day festivities going to get underway here in just a little bit. But Riley, just kind of walk me through, you know, your journey here at Lynchburg and what you're most excited for when you round everything out here today against Hampton Sydney. Yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty incredible journey. Sent home midway through my freshman year. Pretty weird situation, honestly. Just but it makes me really appreciate the time that I've been able to spend here and games that I get to play in. I mean, senior day, the energy's up. I mean, boys are ready. We're just ready to get after it. Plenty to play for today, a lot to play for even going past today. So just one thing you're really looking forward to in the remainder of this season. Obviously, this has got a lot of implications here today. Yeah, I mean, the opportunity to play Odax on our own field, Shelly Beach, can't really beat it. I mean, best environment in college across. Looking for three years in a row, ODAC champions. We're going to make it happen. I mean, what better way to do that than on our own field? Couldn't have said it better myself. Be the first time since 2015. Looking forward to a great one here between Lynchburg and Hampton, Sydney. Want to have some outdoor adventures while getting a degree at the same time? At the University of Lynchburg, we have an on-campus zip line room. Plus, we offer adventure trips that cost less than a cup of coffee. And did I mention our beautiful scenery? We're a university for students looking for something more than just books. Welcome to your new adventure experience. Woo, welcome to Schellenberger Field once again. Maybe I should say Shelly Beach to take a quote out of Riley Mitchell's book. You've heard pretty much all you need to hear to get yourself hyped up and ready for this one. It is going to be a doozy of a matchup. Rest assured, a pair of teams today that very much consider themselves to be rivals, and that always makes for a lot of fun. D3 men's lacrosse getting ready to get underway. Starting lineups about to come down for each team's down on the field one more time, I am Sam Graham. And just running through this uh, preview for this game real quick. Again, Hampton Sydney, they have not been beaten within ODAC play. A perfect 8-0 and record. They are looking to close out their first full-length 
perfect season in conference play since 2003. And on the other side, Lynchburg trying to play spoiler, put one in the loss column for the visitors today here with the assistance of their home field, one of the best in the nation. Right here on Schellenberger Field, Lynchburg coming in 11-5, 13th in the latest USILA poll, and a 7-1 mark in conference. Again, winner of today's game will be the top seed in this year's ODAC tournament. As we roll into lineups down on the field, we'll introduce you to a couple of the key players in today's matchup. First, on the Hampton Sydney side of things, who else than the man between the posts? That is Will Perry. Can't say enough about what he has become now in his fifth season for this Hampton Sydney squad. Coaches love him, teammates love him, and he gets the job done, perhaps most importantly, in goal. Coach Jason Roston noted that he may be not only the backbone of this team, but also high praise saying he is arguably the best goalie we have had in our history. That is high praise from a very, very good program. Been to more than a handful of NCAA tournament appearances and holds five ODAC championships as well. And on the other side for Lynchburg, it will be Riley Hastings. Gonna look there at Will Perry, but Hastings will be the man for Lynchburg. One of really just a drop in the bucket of what this freshman class has been for Lynchburg this year. Spoke to head coach Steve Kadelka pregame about what this you know group has really meant to him because this is kind of a new dynamic here for a Lynchburg men's lacrosse team that also has its fair share of history. Again, Hastings Vandenberg is another one that you will hear the name of a whole lot throughout tonight's contest. And we can't forget about Finn Schmidt either. Three guys that have had to step up throughout the course of this season. Injuries to Carter Bez, who sadly will not return this year, as well as Dylan Wolf. Uh, it's really just forced the hand of Coach Kadelka and this freshman class. But he said, you know, you really won't find another team in the top 20 of D3 lacrosse that can say not only that they have two freshmen contributing at this high of a level, but not only three, and that is what Lynchburg will display here tonight and what they have displayed all throughout the season. But a little bit of good news for everybody at home. That is, if you're a Lynchburg fan, maybe not the same. If you root for the team in maroon here today, number 55, Dylan Wolf, is in pads, in his jersey, helmet on. We may get the return from number 55 here tonight. Got out of his boot. Roughly a week or two ago, been back at practice. His return has been long anticipated, injured during the St. Lawrence game back in late March. Certainly a big advantage for this Lynchburg team if he is able to go today. That's a whole other dynamic to a fantastic Lynchburg offense, though. He will not be one of the starting group here today. We'll get you ready for this one officially. Face off going off quickly, and it will be Michael Krause. Should say Mikey battling for it for Lynchburg for it scooped up by Cole Nestor. We are underway here. Lynchburg searching to host the ODAC tournament. Make the journey to a championship run through Lynchburg, Virginia for the first time since 2015. And I don't think I need to mention that was quite a special season for the home team as they reached the national championship game, of course, fell sadly to a fantastic Tufts team that year, but a magical run for Coach Kadelka's squad. They'll look to continue the 2023 run here tonight. Mitchell top of the key right now, tries a spin move. Hampton Sydney, one of the better defenses, not only in the ODAC, but in the country. Scooping bounce shot from Mitchell goes just wide. Mitchell, although he does lead the team in points, been fantastic on the offensive side and really does make this team go. He's had a little bit of trouble shooting. Perry steps up and blocks that shot. Excuse me, it will not be Perry between the posts to start this game. Excuse me, it will be, but that was not Perry coming up to make the stop. Looks like that was Jack Lemon, 5'9", senior, cutting off Hastings, who tried the wrap there. Possession remains with Lynchburg in the early going. But as I was saying, one of the better defenses in all of Division Three here from Hampton Sydney. Coach Roston loves his group, says 
really helps them to get out and transition. One of the best teams on the clear in the country. Credits that to, first off, Will Perry, his goalkeeper. And secondly, the aggressive play like we're seeing right here. Lynchburg, life is difficult in the early going. Jake Rust from a pair of defenders. Mitchell lines up his second shot of the day. Misses it in roughly the same spot. So was saying a moment ago, Mitchell's shot percentage perhaps not quite where he would like it. And a tough start today. That has not stopped him from that team lead in points. Now Voigt's going to try one. He'll get it. Third time's the charm for Lynchburg. And they take the first lead tonight. Grant Voigt makes it happen for Lynchburg. Five-eight junior out of Phoenix, Maryland. Let's take a look at it again. Voigt gets a slight edge on his defender late on the second team pickup. Voigt gets the space he needs and finishes it off. Lynchburg leads it one nothing in the early going today. Lynchburg sideline erupted on that one. Rightfully so. That was a hard-fought possession. Hampton Sydney certainly making its presence felt right from the jump. Now they're going to turn it over here on the other side. First offensive possession will never materialize. And quickly, Lynchburg clears. It's going to be offensive set number two for the Hornets. Thinking about it, pump fake, hesitation, got it, is Spencer Vandenberg. Mentioned the freshman class at the top of the broadcast, and number 38, he has been on a burner lately, and it looks like it will continue here into the late stages of April. Talk about April showers. When it rains, it pours here on Schellenberger Field. Lynchburg out to a hot start. It's Vandenberg's 17th goal this month. He's got a three-game streak going with a hat trick. Stepping up in the absence of Carter Bez when he went down also in that St. Lawrence game. Boy, is Spencer Vandenberg risen to the occasion all season long. He and Voigt got things running early on for the Lynchburg offense. Don't want to ignore the effort there from Dom Zingo either, scooping up the ground ball to finish off that turnover on possession number one from the Tigers. Number two so far going a little better, trying to set things up. Right now it's Haynes, his shot blocked. Battle for it, stick is knocked out of the hands of the Hampton Sydney offensive player giving chase. This Lynchburg sideline, arguably the most fired up we've seen it all season long. Hampton Sydney head coach Jason Rossen, when we spoke Earlier today, he said this game has a championship feeling to it. Got to say, I got to agree with Coach Rostin through the better part of three minutes. Blake called in from the Lynchburg sideline. Voigt makes his man fall down. That shot had some heat on it. Ricochet picked up by Schmidt, and it is all Lynchburg right now. 3-0 advantage just four minutes into this one. Take a look at it again. First shot from Voigt just off the mark. Hampton Sydney unable to track it down. How about Finn Schmidt there? Right place, right time. He makes it happen. And a quick 3-0 advantage for Lynchburg. So now Michael Krause looks to scoop up that face off. Takes a big shot. That drew the ire of the Lynchburg sideline. A flag flew down from the official. We got to wait for this possession to play out. Got to figure there's going to be a Hampton Sydney individual heading to the penalty box. Lively atmosphere in the early going. Here between Lynchburg and Hampton Sydney, stakes are high and you can feel it all throughout this arena. 
Hoyt swings back down to Schmidt. Brief moment for everybody to catch their breath in the early going here. Say everyone, might be better off just saying myself. Here comes Mitchell, third shot will not find its home. Now we'll get the ruling down from our official on that collision there off the faceoff. Looks like it is gonna send Aiden Byrne. He will take a knee in the box area. So a man up opportunity for Lynchburg. That is not a good sign here for Hampton excuse me, Hampton, Sydney, Lynchburg, one of the best teams in the country on man up opportunities. Fifth in division three to be more precise, at least when it comes to percentage scoring on such opportunities and nobody's been better than Jake Rust. His 11 man up goals this year, tops in the ODAC by three. One of the best marks across the country. Rust has it right now. Maybe looking for number 12 here on this possession. As we resume play, 10 minutes to go in the first quarter, but we've had a whole lot of action through the first five. Hampton Sydney has been very active on defense, very aggressive. Has not come up with a stop so far. Dylan Wolf, his first shot in roughly a month. It's going to be off the mark. Got to be nice for him just to shake some of that rust off. Put a shot up on goal. Now Hampton Sydney trying to set things up quickly as they like to do, turning quick defense into offense. But no need to hurry too much here. You don't want to give Lynchburg too many opportunities with a man up to try and capitalize. Can't be on white with it right now there, top of your screen. He now gets the break as the man up opportunity will end. Jogging back in is Patrick Haynes. He takes the ball and swings it back over there to Patrick Saunders. Patrick to Patrick. Haynes now works it back around. You just watch how quick this Hampton Sydney offense moves. It's one of the most Active teams on both ends of the field that you will see in Division Three lacrosse. They want to answer those first three Lynchburg goals. Lynchburg sideline happy with the effort from their defense so far. Trying along the goal line, nothing doing there. Had an open man along that goal line, but missing on him was Michael Leone. And unable to track it down was Saunders. And once again, Lynchburg another stop. And leading 3-0, they will look to clear and set up another offensive set. Zingo flips it ahead to Mitchell. There's another clear for Lynchburg. And here we go again. It's a Lynchburg attack that runs deep. Mentioned a lot of those names so far. Three Hornets with a hat trick in the last time out over Guilford. Including the second career game with three goals for Caden Henchy. Mitchell maybe thought about it there, works back out to Voigt. Voigt got an edge on his defender again, but he's cut off, passes out, back to the X behind the goal. Jostling the ball loose there, but Hastings there to pick it up. Now he will lose possession. Ground ball going to be scooped up and going the way of Hampton Sydney. It's Thomas Harry. Holds a defensive player of the week honor already this season. As much as you can say about the Lynchburg offense, the Hampton Sydney defense got quite a few weapons of their own. But before we get this possession, we're going to get our first time out of the game and we will take it with them. Go to break here for just a moment by telling you our score from Schellenberger Field. Hornets 3, Hampton Sydney, nothing. This is the dough. It's wicked cute. It's always so pretty. Great college has a great city. For Lynchburg, we are near urban areas with lots of restaurants, shopping, and events. Plus, we are one of the top schools in the area. Come see for yourself. 
Welcome back here on LHSN, back to Schellenberger Field. Take a look there in his seventh season at the helm, Jason Rostin, fearless leader of the Hampton Sydney men's lacrosse team, captured that 2017 ODAC championship. But looking at the big picture, a Rostin has been at the helm of this program now for 39 consecutive seasons. Jason succeeding his father, Ray Rostin, finished with over 300 career wins and really set the tone for what this Hampton Sydney culture expectation level would be. Seven NCAA tournament appearances, winning four of the school's five ODAC titles. Of course, as we just mentioned, Jason winning that fifth now six years ago, but have one of their best squads since the one they posted in that last ODAC championship run. Setting up here on offense, Hampton Sydney hadn't been able to find a whole lot doing. Bad case of the turnover bug. They work quickly, which obviously can lead you to be a little prone to error, which they just about Lynchburg capitalizing yet again. Just one shot so far going up for Hampton Sydney. It's a nine for Lynchburg, and Darminio is going to scoop up this ground ball. Might get sick of me saying that. Playing in his final regular season home game here on Schellenberger Field. Darminio, forced to be reckoned with. Two-time U.S. ILA Team of the Week honoree this year. All-American. Certainly count on his presence being felt that long stick midi position. Each and every time down. So here we go, setting up another offensive possession for Lynchburg into the game is Robert Kirkland. A bit of a different look here now from the Lynchburg offense. Ian McCarthy into the game. Another senior day honoree. Works it across to Hastings, making a move to the net. Net moved, but it was the back of the nylon, not the desired area. And Perry there to track it down, send things back to his offense. Hampton Sydney continues to just face a 3-0 deficit, but that offensive possession was one and done. Long pass from Hadley connects with Cole Zacharias. He'll wait for numbers. Mitchell jogs back on along with Voigt. Zacharias jogs off as does Dylan Schuster. And it's the usual suspects once again on offense for Lynchburg. Boyd, he's had some success with his speed in the early going here, creating things. This Lynchburg team, there's a big stop. It's Finn Schmidt knifing his way to the goal. Didn't catch the number of who swatted that ball away, but on the other side now, Darminio making life difficult for Nick Morgan, somebody that got some special praise from head coach Steve Kadelka. One of the best players in the country. Certainly an earned superlative. Two-time USILA All-American. 2022, a second team honoree. Here's White. He thinks about one, lines one up now. That will be off the mark as well, but Hampton Sydney has been able to get a few shots off now. Have you seen some of those nerves calm down as the visitors start to get used to the environment? It's a tough environment to get used to. 
track just continuing to accumulate visitors. Here's another turnover. Again, Darminio scooping up the ground ball. Again, clearing for Lynchburg. Takes a stick to the back. Doesn't matter. Nifty pass there from Zacharias. Sets up another Lynchburg shot and another Lynchburg score. Moving so fast, I could barely keep up. But it looked as though it was Luke Meadows capitalizing on that one for Lynchburg. It is now a 4-0 Hornet advantage. We'll take a look at it again. There's the pass from Zacharias, wide open in the center of the field, dead on shot from Meadows. Not gonna miss many of those regardless of who you are. And Luke Meadows cashes in, fourth different Hornet to get on the board in the early going. Kraus with another face-off win. That pass is going to find its way back to Lynchburg, but looks like it's going to be ruled off sides. Steve Kadelka way out onto the field. Giving the official a piece of his mind, does not quite agree with that call. Defensive play now comes in from the Lynchburg sideline. Animated Coach Kadelka there, but Hampton Sydney is going to come up with the turnover nonetheless. So they've cut into the shot disparity a little bit. They've gotten up three now, but now face a 4-0 disadvantage. About two and a half minutes to go in the first. Taines with it right now, works it back out to Ray O'Brien. Fantastic offensive piece. Arguably the top attackman for this Hampton Sydney squad. O'Brien tries to get it in the inside, but there's Hadley. Get him some knee pads, sliding right into position, and he gets the stop there. Save Tyler Hadley. That's probably the best shot Hampton Sydney's gotten up so far today. But whether it's Hadley or the Lynchburg defense, they have yet to find the back of the net. Lynchburg, on the other hand, had no trouble, though they will turn it over here. That pass from Riley Mitchell goes a little wide of Vandenberg. There's another opportunity for Hampton Sydney, about 90 seconds to go in this first quarter. It's been action packed, but mostly one way. You gotta love what you've seen so far. If you're a Lynchburg fan, not so much on the Hampton Sydney side of things, but it's a very long game. It's a Hampton Sydney team you can bet on will be resilient from start to finish of this contest. Working down near side, it's Nick Thompson with it. Thompson, 86 ground balls on the year, also handles a lot of face-off duties for Hampton Sydney. 204 such attempts this year. His scoop shot again blocked by Hadley. Back-to-back -back saves for number zero. Lynchburg continues to stay clean offensively. They got 40 seconds to work on the offensive side. Trying to push this advantage out to 5-0 throughout the first 15 minutes. Scored 24 goals in each of their past two contests. That's a total, obviously, of 48, the most since the first two games of the 2022 campaign against Farham and Greensboro. They're out to a hot start again today. Riley Mitchell, fourth shot again. Will not find the mark. Clock stops with eight seconds to go, but possession awarded over to Hampton Sydney. Going to be tough to work the ball down with that amount of time. Going to get one long pass from Perry. He chucks it down. Will not be connected on. Goalie passes to Coley as Tyler Hadley swings it right back over to the other side. And that brings us to the conclusion of this first quarter, a game with tremendous gravity has swung to the Hornets' side so far. They have a 4-0 advantage at the end of 15. We'll see you on the other side of the quarter break.
Take a look there at Hornets head coach Steve Kadelka, season number 27. The storied head coach, one of the winningest in all of Division Three, And most Saturday nights in the spring, you can find him pacing the sidelines of Schellenberger Field. But he's got a lot to be happy with out of that first quarter. Have to imagine urging his team not to take their foot off the gas. A quick faceoff win is going to go the way of Hampton Sydney. Looking for the goal off of it there, but being unsuccessful was Nick Thompson. Heck of a game for him last time out against Roanoke. Team high four assists. A big old 11 ground balls to go with it. There's O'Brien with it, spins one way, spins the other, works it back off. Top there, thought about it, was Saunders. Closing out well there was Darminio. Saunders decides to take the shot anyway, goes off wide left. But this possession will continue for Hampton City. That's a pretty solid look at it. Gravity working in the favor of Michael Leone. But again, the shot wide. It's kind of been the tail of the tape. Hampton Sydney so far, they've now gotten off eight shots, so that disparity is only five favoring Lynchburg. Now it's going to be about stacking up those quality opportunities and trying to get some by Tyler Hadley. Three saves out of that first quarter. There's Haynes with it. He's guarded closely by Nestor. Saunders again goes back behind the goal. Now out to the goal line. That's a tough shot. As the shot clock sounds, really had to take it. No choice there. At the end of the day for Ray O'Brien, but it's going to be another stop for Lynchburg. In my memory so far this season, this has got to be one of the best defensive showings from a Lynchburg team so far. Not giving an inch on that end of the field. And offensively, it's really just been business as usual. First halves have been very kind to the Hornets this year. Second halves at times run into a little bit of trouble. Think about contests like Christopher Newport, Salisbury, and Roanoke, although that wound up being a Hornet victory. Some of those games turning a little more competitive Coach Kadelka maybe would like. So, as I said at the top of this quarter, got to imagine a resounding statement coming out of that quarter break is just keep your foot on the pedal, keep the energy up, because as I've mentioned a couple times already, Hampton, Sydney, you can bank on them doing the same. Russ goes top here for Mitchell. He maybe thought about a shot. Works back out. Now top back up to Mitchell. He rips another one. And again, a little off to the side. It will warrant a shot clock reset, though, and possession stays with the Hornets. So all told, not too bad. Slow start offensively for Riley Mitchell, 0 for 5. You hear the term all the time, shooters shoot. Mitchell got to figure will find his shot as this game progresses. In the meantime, he's gotten a lot of help from his teammates. Balanced attack here from Lynchburg. Vandenberg's pass out to Hastings. Does eventually make its way there and then skidding across the carpet. Hastings throws that one in. That adds some velocity to it. Maybe only slowed down from a little friction off the turf. Don't look now, five nothing advantage for Lynchburg, take a look at it again as Hastings works over to Mitchell, give and go, gets a little space. Just slides that one in. One of the Hampton Sydney defenders falling down in the process. Will Perry, again, one of the best goalies in Hampton Sydney history in the ODAC. It's an all ODAC selection a season ago. It's been a USILA All-American. I mean, 
resume speaks for himself. He's been tested a whole lot today. 15 shots already. Five of them have found their way behind him. Hampton Sydney offense scored 20 plus each of their last five contests. Six of eight games on this current win streak. It's kicked off by a big overtime win over Washington and Lee. Should say four overtimes. Instant classic there in Lexington. Trying to create some space for himself there is O'Brien, but his pass is not going to find its way to the intended target, Davis Mack. Instead, picked up by Zingo. And another Hampton Sydney turnover that Lynchburg will try to capitalize off. Clearing for Lynchburg, not much space to work with there. Might have been a little rattled. It's RJ Barnes, VMI transfer. His pass goes over the head of Schmidt on the far side. Brief stoppage in play. Don't see anything so far that may have warranted it. Chance for Coach Cadelka to communicate with his players, get them into position here. Now we will resume as Hampton Sydney flips the script there, forces the Lynchburg turnover. Now Will Perry inching his way away from his home post there. And the goal finds a teammate, sets up offensive possession for Hampton Sydney. Hasn't been kind so far. But again, as I mentioned, 20 plus goals in each of the last five. And this is a very good Lynchburg team, but one of those five was Roanoke. Received votes pretty much throughout the whole season in that USILA poll. That was a nine goal win on the road at Kerr Stadium. Hampton Sydney looking to get on the board and they finally will. Coming from the far side, a little roughly alongside the goal line was Patrick Saunders. Called his name several times. He's gotten some shots off. This one finally will score and put Hampton Sydney on the board. Good job working off the spin there is Campion White dishing it off to his teammate. He'll pick up the assist and Saunders finishes things off with a nice shot that scores near the top of the net. A little bit of life there. Big celebration from the Hampton Sydney sideline. That might just be what they need to get things going offensively. Narminio tries to scoop up that ground ball. Krause hits the turf in the process and trying to make it a quick two in a row off the faceoff. There was Hampton Sydney. The Connor Kilfeather's shot will be stopped with the fourth save of the evening from Tyler Hadley. Zingo works it to Schmidt. Swung back to Mitchell. Little two-man game there. Top of the screen as Darminio jogs off. Voigt and Russ make their way into the offensive half. Russ picks up the double team. Fires that pass out quickly. Frustration there from Rust. Slaps his thigh with the butt of his stick. Just got sped up probably a little more than he would have liked. Be another Lynchburg turnover. Hampton Sydney defense coming up. Opportunistic a few times throughout this second period so far. Tigers setting up another shot. Goes just off to the far side, that is White again. And I mentioned that Washington and Lee contest for Hampton Sydney. So we'll get a timeout, looks like from the Lynchburg side of things. But again, that Washington and Lee game, Campion White with the game winner on the road, upset of the top 10 generals. Interesting enough, each of the teams playing on this field here tonight knocking off Washington and Lee on their home turf in overtime fashion. On the Lynchburg side, it was Riley Mitchell 
that finally got the go-ahead goal in the extra period. Sent the Hornets home happy with another quality win. Going to take things one step further. These two teams, when they met for the 2022 ODAC Championship game, it was on Washington and Lee's field. That game ended up not being quite as competitive as the regular season matchup was. Mentioned top of the broadcast, that was a thriller here on this field a year ago. Battle really down to the wire. Both teams kind of trading blows before Lynchburg comes out with the slight win. Roughly same time of year as well. It was senior day, regular season finale for both teams. But an 18-7 decision in the title game. This thing's got a little bit out of hand for Hampton Sydney. They're trying to avoid that here tonight. Got down as many as five. Finally got on the board a few moments ago with that Saunders goal off the assist from Campion White. Sigh of relief there. As Hampton Sydney can maybe relax, get their you know, really get their feet wet in this game. And now with an offensive possession, an opportunity to cut it to three. And then you're right back, right back in things. Obviously, plenty of time to go. Majority of the second quarter still on tap. Thank everybody for tuning in to us today on LHSN. A rare triple header here for the Lynchburg Hornets Sports Network. Pair of baseball games earlier today. As Lynchburg captured the regular season title there with a couple wins over Guilford. Perfect year at home on Fox Field. Now Lynchburg men's lacrosse team trying to make it two regular season titles in one day. If they can capture a win here tonight. Flags fly, contact down there against Saunders. Penalty's going to come down. Who is it on? Session is remaining on the Hampton Sydney side of things. So it looks like against Lynchburg and Dom Zingo. Zingo has spent a little bit of time in the box this season. Certainly an active and aggressive piece on the Lynchburg defense who's having himself a very nice season on that end. Just a little over aggressive there. That's going to earn him a little breather and the first man up opportunity of the day now for Hampton Sydney. Twenty-four man up goals on the year for the Tigers. They will not get one there, however. Another save from Tyler Hadley. That is his fifth. But a quick turnover gives it right back to the Tigers. Now working one on one. That bounce shot bounces high. Over the head of Hadley and everybody closest to it are the Tigers. Second opportunity goes right into Hadley's pocket. He works it quickly ahead. Now it's Lynchburg trying to get out in transition. That shot is off the mark. Perry getting in the way of it. He starts to ease into this game. That's his third save. Shot comparison now 16 to 15. So Hampton Sydney easily controlling the second quarter shots department. Going to line up another one here. That will knot us up at 16. Still not a whole lot getting by Tyler Hadley, who's got seven first-half saves. It's looking a lot like the Stevenson game from earlier this year. Hadley is a brick wall right now between the posts. He's been so pretty much the entire season, currently second in the conference in save percentage, well over 50. He's also gotten four ODAC Player of the Week nods this year to lead all players on the defensive side of things. Carthy back into the game for Lynchburg offensively, as is Gabe Menchaca. 
Fresh legs out there for Lynchburg. Hastings still out there, as is Vandenberg. Kirkland in the game as well. McCarthy lines one up. That will be off the mark. Closest to it appears to be Kirkland. Get a broken stick in the process. So we're going to have a Hampton Sydney defender here with no stick. Excuse me, it must have gotten fixed. Not sure whose stick it was. For a moment, it looked as though Hampton Sydney's, well, I'll finish that thought in a moment. Shot clock sounds. Lynchburg never gets a shot off on that possession. Looks for a moment there like Gaines Wise was standing there with no stick in his hand. Then he turned. Call it a little optical illusion. Everybody was accounted for on that possession. Hampton Sydney comes up with another big stop. Second quarter, they have weathered the Lynchburg storm, only allowing one goal through the first 10 minutes and change. But on the other side, they've only found one of their own. Certainly want to correct that as soon as possible, preferably on this possession. It's White with it back out to Haynes. Swings to O'Brien. He gets a screen up high from Saunders. O'Brien works it in close. That shot off the mark from Haynes. Lynchburg defense, for the most part, working out of zone here today. Excuse me, out of man. Campion White trying to free himself up. Guarded closely. His shot. He will get it off, and not a bad look at it coming off the edge, but Hadley once again, save number eight. Quickly now for Lynchburg. Nestor thought about it, passes off. Hastings runs into two defenders. Goal line now is Vandenberg. Thomas Harry poking at it. Now Lynchburg takes a breath. Riley Mitchell has it up top. Dry spell for the Hornets. So our score is stuck at 5-1. Long pass from Schmidt to Mitchell. Mitchell over to Voigt. Voigt with a goal already in this contest. Five unique goal scorers for Lynchburg. Now working to get in close is Rust. His shot is off the mark. Vandenberg was nearly there for the second effort. Coming out of the goal to grab it is Perry. That's another big stop from Hampton Sydney. Under three minutes to go in the half. Still trailing by four. But the defense is starting to live up to its billing in the second set of 15. Hampton Sydney not quite full strength on the offensive side. It's not necessarily a new thing this season as that bounce shot from O'Brien gets some arc to it, nearly bounces over the backing net there. Ford Burke, one of the better offensive options for this team. He is out for the season. Knee injury for him. Obviously, hate to see that. Had four hat tricks, started the first nine games. A total of 17 goals. That's just a little depth, not there for the visitors, but the home team is the hot one right now. Riley Hastings, he gets on the board again, and Lynchburg, the dry spell will end. Lead pushed back out to five. Things are starting to get a little quiet on the Lynchburg sideline, and Riley Hastings, he didn't like that too much. Decided to get things going yet again. So he rips that one in there. Some push-ups from the sideline. And Lynchburg still very much alive down there on the field. Face-off again will be controlled by Lynchburg. Ground ball won't be scooped up by Krause, but he'll get the face-off win. Now he may get a turnover here. Darminio. 
Going to try to reverse it. Looking for a teammate with Darminio in his face. It was Drew Duffy, younger brother of last year's ODAC Player of the Year, Sean Duffy. Fantastic career at Hampton, Sydney for Duffy. We'll get another timeout, our third of the game, second of the quarter. This time we will step aside with them. We'll do so by telling you our score, six for Lynchburg, one for Hampton, Sydney. We got 128 to go in the half, and you're watching LHSN. Lynchburg is all about you, your ideas, and your goals. We've got one professor for every 10 students, so you can get all the support you need. In the classroom, in the lab, or in nature. You'll learn by putting yourself out there, and we're right there with you. The advantage is 6-1 to one for Lynchburg through most of this first half. Long way to go before this one is put on ice. hampton Sydney defense has come up big in this second quarter. There's four goals in the first for Lynchburg, only two, and it took a while to get that second one here in the second quarter. Lynchburg, again, 48 goals in its last two games combined. They're looking to... Keep their foot on the pedal and close out this regular season with a win. That would earn them the number one seed in the ODAC tournament. Eight and one record would be the final. On the other side, Hampton Sydney team ranked in two of three major polls. It's looking to break single season record for conference wins. Currently tied for it at eight. The win today would be number nine. It would be the first perfect season in conference play. You'd have to go all the way back to 2003 to find the last such season. This would be even more impressive. That year was 6-0. and This year it would take nine big ones. Foul on the far side. Never going to get a shot off there is Hampton Sydney. Not much time left in this first half. Only 22 seconds. Brief moment to survey the scene there for Lynchburg. Now as we head into the half, they're going to look to open up a six-goal advantage. They'll clear it with Mitchell and draw another timeout. We'll stay right here. Talk a little bit of strategy here with just 14 seconds to go in this first half. Obviously, it's been a balanced attack from Lynchburg so far. Riley Hastings so far leading the way, but plenty of talent offensively capable of of coming up and making things happen. Now, Lynchburg's gotten to this point. You know, this is a really aggressive, really active uh, team defensively from Hampton City. That's how they've made a lot of their money this year. But again, when you're that active, when you're that aggressive, you sometimes can be a little over aggressive, and that can lead to some miscues and some mistakes. Haven't been as many here in this second quarter, but sometimes when you press too much, that's when you see those openings come up. And Lynchburg's done a pretty good job of staying patient, working the ball around, getting everybody a touch. We really haven't rushed things on the offensive side, and there's not a whole lot of bones you could pick with this Lynchburg offense throughout this year, especially working without Bez and Wolf for most of it lately. Also looks like they're without Charlie Moore here today, but again, at times they've run into trouble not utilizing too much of the shot clock, looking for the first shot instead of the best shot. That has not been the case today. And a long talk, excuse me, a long talk with Coach Kadelka during this break. I'm sure they are going to get the look they want here. It's just a matter of can Hampton Sydney be there and be ready for it. 
as they have done for most of this period. Mitchell will key things up. He swings to Rust. Just 10 seconds to go for number 10. Rust works it over to top side of your screen. Now looking for an edge of Schmidt. Shot low and it scores. Sneaks its way by Will Perry with one second to go in the first half. Lynchburg works it all the way around the field. We will certainly take another look at this one as Finn Schmidt makes it happen right before the half. It's a 7-1 Lynchburg advantage. See here, Russ works it over to him. That whole middle of the field is cleared out and open as soon as Schmidt gets the edge. And again, he can see with the second scoreboard there in the track's D zone how much time he had left. Times that one perfectly. Gets the shot off in time. As we go back to the faceoff circle, time will expire. Everything going Lynchburg's way so far. It's a 7-1 lead as we have hit the half. And for a Lynchburg team, 11-1 when leading at the half. They will look for win number 12 when we come back. a physical therapist probably starting about halfway through college. I love the concept that exercise is medicine. You know, we're starting to discover that exercise really can remedy many of the things that we thought that only surgery or only drugs could remedy in the past. When the student comes here, it's because we believe in them. It's because we want them here. Um, it's because we believe they'll be successful. The faculty here are, are devoted to their development, not only academically, but also professionally. We're not so inundated with things that we don't have time to make students one of our highest priorities. We have your back. We're going we're gonna to help you through that. If you're willing to work, then we're willing to put the work into it and the effort to, to help you succeed. I was really attracted to Lynchburg primarily because my dad went here. Um, he is an alum, so I kind of have that close tie of being interested in this school. And the school had what I wanted to study. I knew I wanted to help people in the area of health and wellness. So the health promotion program was definitely a program that drew me in. And from day one, I've been in love with it, and I wouldn't have chosen it different. I have never had um, better professors or teachers in my life. And I think here at the University of Lynchburg, the professors definitely care about their students, especially in the health promotion department. These professors want you to be educated, want you to have the experience, and just want you to feel confident going into your career path following your collegiate education. You just feel like you're cared for here and that you matter, and that no matter what, at the end of the day, you're gonna be successful. And the people here really want to be here, and everyone has a purpose, and it's just a great environment to be in. Be ready for anything, okay? Come on, let's go together! Together, let's go!
My name is Alexis Fabula. I major in criminology and I double minor in psychology and criminal forensics. My favorite part about Lynchburg is the friends that I've um, come to have. It's helped me come out of my shell more and it's helped me become the person I am and the student I am. I, I really enjoyed how small the campus was and I also really enjoy um, how small the class sizes are. It made me feel like I was going to be more engaged than I would at a bigger campus. If someone was on the fence of coming to the University of Lynchburg, I would definitely love to sit down and have a conversation with them because I'm forever grateful that I made this choice. Um, it's definitely something that a student wouldn't regret. I, out of my four years here, I've not had one bad experience. I've had a great four years and I'm going to be very sad to go. We have hit the half here on Lakeside Drive, a 7-1 advantage for the home team in a battle for ODAC regular season supremacy. Again, Lynchburg seeking its third straight ODAC championship game appearance and third straight ODAC championship win obviously would be the goal if they get there. Hampton Sydney looking for its first win since 2017. Be a second straight appearance in the big game for the Tigers as well. And a lot to go over from that first half. Again, Lynchburg putting five up on the board before Hampton Sydney was able to respond. That made it five to one. And then two more Lynchburg goals gets you to the seven one score we have now. Take a look at everybody enjoying this one. Got the grill going there behind our back the track here tonight. Really good crowd here on a nice April evening. And that is certainly contributing to a big home field advantage for Lynchburg, who may not only you know, be looking to obviously win this game, end up with the number one overall seed in the ODAC tournament, but you know, as Coach Rostin told me earlier today, you know, this is a game with big NCAA tournament implications as well, and this is a, you know, another big chance to add a resume win for Lynchburg. Same can be said on the other side for Hampton Sydney, but a lot of stuff's going to have to be cleaned up in that second half if the Tigers will be able to make a run. And it has happened a few times so far this season. Lynchburg letting some opponents back into games. So don't count the Tigers out of this one just yet. They did knock things up on the shots department after getting behind quite a bit in the early going there. It's 19 apiece. 12 of those on goal for Lynchburg versus 9 for Hampton. Sydney. Will Perry got out to a bit of a slow start, picked things up in the second quarter. He has five saves in goal to Lynchburg's 8, all courtesy of Tyler Hadley. He's having himself a heck of a game in goal. Eight saves on nine shots on goal. It's a very nice percentage there for him. Lynchburg actually in the deficit on faceoffs, 5-4 to four for Hampton Sydney, And turning over to the clear, pretty even, uh, 8 for 9 for Hampton Sydney, 16 of 17 for Lynchburg. Turnover disparity heavily favored Lynchburg early on, but Hampton Sydney turns the Hornets over a few times in that second quarter. It is nine apiece there as well. In terms of individual stats, Patrick Saunders has the one goal for Hampton Sydney here today. One goal on two shots for him. That's uh, big two ground balls from Connor Kilfeather, two from Ray O'Brien, and three from Nick Thompson. And on the Lynchburg side of things, Riley Hastings and Finn Schmidt each have a pair of goals. Hastings, a total of three points. He's got an assist to add to his total and shooting 50% from the field. And on defense, very active so far has been both Dom Zingo, four ground balls, and a cause turnover as well as number three, Chris Arminio. He's got a trifecta of ground balls as well. Should be a very exciting second half. And that man right there, head coach Steve Kadelka, has got to be happy with what he's seen so far. We got all the action for you coming up in around two minutes. Don't go anywhere. You're watching LHSN. your career in the game by enrolling in the University of Lynchburg MBA program with an emphasis in sport management. This program opens the doors to new possibilities for a variety of careers, from being an athletic director or working in athletic administration, 
to working for professional organizations, your favorite team to running a local parks and rec department. And employers are increasingly requesting and preferring individuals who have postgraduate education, specifically looking for an MBA. And so the University of Lynchburg Sport Management concentration in the MBA program sets you up for success and it sets you apart from the many other people looking for jobs in the industry. Learn from winners. Here you will learn from professors and mentors who have spent their careers doing exactly what you want to do. Increase your marketability in an $83 billion industry. If you have a 3.0 GPA, the GMAT is waived. There's no application fee, admissions occurs on a rolling basis, and our online program is ideal for working adults. When you enroll in this program, you enroll in the opportunity to learn from the best of the best. Your professors have a wealth of experience working in the sport industry that they share with you in the classroom setting. Get in the game by getting your MBA with a sport management concentration at the University of Lynchburg. Just you now, Hollywood, here I come. Hey, I meant yeah. All righty, second half getting set to get underway here from Schellenberger Field. Will we get a Hampton Sydney resurgence or will Lynchburg continue the dominance it displayed in that first half? Those are the questions to be answered over the course of these final 30 minutes. And it is going to be Hampton Sydney with the first opportunity to make something happen in half number two. Tigers team that has won eight straight contests, been dominant pretty much all throughout those eight wins. Only one true close game this season. That was the win over Washington and Lee. So that close game should say games decided by three or less. Also worth noting they hold the 11th largest scoring margin in the country. So offensive prowess is on the field for the visitors. It's just going to be a matter of connecting the dots. They got, you know, obviously, as we mentioned at the half, they, they knotted things up in the shots department. They've been competitive on the offensive end, just got to finish the deal. But getting things past Tyler Hadley has proved to be very difficult. And Lynchburg picking up kind of where they left off from the first half. Cole Nestor scoops up the ground ball to polish off that turnover. Now Schmidt, that's a hat trick. Finn Schmidt. The freshman class representing here on the attack for Lynchburg. Finn Schmidt kicks off the second half in style. Wasting no time turning defense into offense there. Coast to coast. Right place, right time. Finn Schmidt with nobody in his way. That is a hard shot to stop. If it's coming off the pocket of Schmidt, of Riley Mitchell. There's quite a few guys on this Lynchburg offensive team that can really put some power behind their shots. Lynchburg will scoop up the ground ball off that face off. Earn another win. Trail six to five in that department in the game. They'll look to clear. Mitchell will do it. Back to back offensive possessions now for Lynchburg. Seven goal lead is the largest of the day for Lynchburg. Here's Schmidt with it again. Tries to fake out his defender. Not quite successful. Gets a little bit of space there, but Perry tracks it down. Multiple flags fly as Schmidt hit the turf. Some contact from Hampton Sydney after the shot. And it looks like it's going to be another man up opportunity for Lynchburg. This will be the second of the game. Heading to the box will be Thomas Harry. Junior defender out of Troy, Virginia. There's a save from Perry. Nearly got out of that one unscathed. They still may, but now a 
dangerous man up opportunity for Lynchburg that's converting on better than 50% of such opportunities on the year. And number 55 is back into the game as well. Dylan Wolf has checked in for the second time today. He joins Mitchell, Hastings, Rust, Vandenberg, and Charlie Evans on the field offensively for the Hornets. Mitchell thought about that shot, tried to step into it. That hole was plugged nicely there from Hampton Sydney. Bounce shot off the mark from Evans. 6 1 sophomore out of Saverna Park, Maryland. Been a contributor since stepping on campus. Mitchell scoops that one off. Gets a pass. Not even really sure if it was a pass. Might have been a ricochet. Riley Hastings, meanwhile, standing right outside the crease. Just taps that one in. Pass was on a dime. And Riley Hastings, who's made a lot of his money being the dime dropper, is the recipient of a nice shiny one right there. Lynchburg leads it 9-1. to one. See there, Russ swings over to Vandenberg. And finishing things off is Riley Hastings. One of three Lynchburg offensive players this year with 40 or more points. And you can add another one in as he and Schmidt, pair of freshmen with a pair of hat tricks. And it was Vandenberg on the assist there as well. Great representation from the class of 2026. Here today, how about another one? Dylan Wolf, welcome back to Schellenberger Field. Long time coming for number 55 on his senior night, making his presence felt. Lynchburg has opened things up. That may be one of the loudest celebrations we'll get all night here. Goal number 10 for Lynchburg has a little bit Something extra to it. Dylan Wolf feeling it there on the sideline. Hornets are buzzing. Battle here. A little push in the back. No flags flying. Lynchburg going to take possession. Felt a little bit of contact there from Hampton City. Might start to press a little more. I mean, this lead... It's grown to nine, and a Lynchburg team following that road loss to Randolph-Macon. It has just honestly been a different team, you could almost say, since that point. They have outscored their opponents 58-8 to eight since falling on the road in Ashland. It's a team that Cole Nestor said at the beginning of the year he thought was the most talented team he had played on. And worth noting, he has played on a team that reached the NCAA Elite Eight back two years ago where they fell to Christopher Newport. He's been a member of some pretty darn good teams, so a lofty statement there from a senior. Lynchburg certainly showing it as of late. Right now, hampton Sydney team, I mentioned, ranked in two of the three major polls unofficially ranked 25th in the USILA ranking, though they only officially marked the top 20. It's one of the better teams Lynchburg will run up against all year. Shot there, had some velocity behind it. Collective breath coming from everybody in the immediate vicinity as Jake Russ looked to get on the board. Looking for another one. That one's off the mark. That would have been number four for Hastings. Finally, Hampton Sydney's going to get out of this little pickle on the defensive side and try to make something happen offensively. Turnover is going to go the way of Lynchburg. Working quickly ahead. Last time, did a very nice job in transition. This time, they'll slow things up a bit.
Dylan Schuster, a warm welcome back to the Lynchburg sideline after that defensive effort. Here's McCarthy, backs up, gets a full head of steam. Doesn't really have anywhere to go with it. Menchaca back in for Lynchburg. He dips off to Schmidt. Hampton Sydney motions to pick him up. They will do so. Pass a little high, will be reeled in. Looks like by Vandenberg. Only 20 seconds to go on the shot clock now as McCarthy tries to work to his left. Good defense here from Hampton Sydney. He's not going to be able to get a shot off. Now with 11 seconds, it's Menchaca. His pass will not find its intended recipient. And now sprinting back across the field and clearing is Hampton Sydney. They got to start to get in a hurry offensively. Lights flick on on Westover Dorm, illuminating pretty packed track here for a critical late season ODAC matchup. Hampton Sydney now offensively looking for its first goal since the second quarter. And against his defender, ball gets in close, but before a true shot goes off, Hadley snatches it up. Save number nine for Tyler Hadley. Melby, excuse me, may be well on his way to a fifth. ODAC Defensive Player of the Week nod. Hadley's been one of the best goalkeepers in the conference all year long. He also had seven saves in the midseason win. Here's another goal offensively. Riley Hastings cooking, and it may be senior day, but these Lynchburg freshmen have shown up in full force. Riley Hastings, fifth point of the game. Defense turns into offense yet again for Lynchburg. Riley Hastings finishes off the possession. Four goals and an assist alongside Spencer Vandenberg and Finn Schmidt. It's a total of eight goals from three Lynchburg freshmen. You just have to imagine, that'd be almost salivating at the thought what this offense could look like in the years to come. Yeah, I mean, Riley Mitchell, a senior, Dylan Wolf, a senior. They've been great contributors on that end of the field throughout the duration of their careers this season, notwithstanding either. But a lot of talent in some of the young bucks here as well for Lynchburg. Kirkland back on. He's got it. Friendly tap there. From the Hampton Sydney defender, that's Cameron Young. Kirkland still with it, passes off now. Looks like to Menchaca. Menchaca, good pass to Schmidt, and Schmidt scores. This Lynchburg team's making it look easy, but I promise you it is not. Connecting on a pass like that, turning on a dime, and getting a shot off that scores nonetheless. It's not an easy task. It's going to be a Hampton Sydney timeout. Finn Schmidt and Riley Hastings leading the way. Total of eight goals have Lynchburg on top, 12 to 1. This is the dough. It's wicked cute. It's always so pretty. University of Lynchburg, we've lowered our tuition, so you get a better value for a great education. Come see our campus for yourself. This video isn't about me. It's about the limitless possibilities that the University of Lynchburg allows me to be. An athlete. An artist. 
an adventurer, a writer, a believer, a human. Because what I love about the University of Lynchburg is that they have a saying, here we're home. And honestly though, I think a better fit would be a home for everyone. Because it doesn't matter the color of your skin, the person you love, the God you pray to, the pronouns you use, the city you're from, the language you speak. University of Lynchburg gives you the greatest opportunity they can for you to be the absolute best version of yourself. All Lynchburg so far in this one. The home team opening up a 12-1 advantage a little over midway through this third quarter on the backs of a pair of freshmen in Riley Hastings and Finn Schmidt. Failed to mention 50th point of the season. I guess you could also say 50th career point there for Riley Hastings, who has taken over the team lead. One of the top assist men in all of the ODAC. Leads the team in that category. Now he leads them in points as well. Four goals, one assist today to lead the way for Lynchburg. Have to monitor Finn Schmidt on that last goal. Looks like he may have taken a little bit of a shot, just walking a little gingerly. It's not on the field right now for Lynchburg, so it'll just be something to keep an eye on. But a fantastic day for him so far. Mitchell fakes the pass, loses the ball in the process. Ground ball scooped up by a hampton Sydney long stick. Very fond of those. Feel like they're deep at that position. hampton Sydney find anything going offensively. Run into a Buzz saw in the form of this Lynchburg team on both ends of the field, just playing with a ton of purpose. Lynchburg two and four on the year against ranked opponents as that shot goes wide, but will stay with Hampton Sydney. Lynchburg two and four against USILA ranked opponents this season. Now this game will not go down in that category, but still a massive opportunity much like that Roanoke game a couple weeks ago for Lynchburg to come up with yet another statement win for its resume. So while the ODAC discussion is certainly very important, Lynchburg well on its way to hosting the ODAC tournament for the first time since 2015. Also a lot of national implications. So let's say something goes awry in that ODAC tournament. Lynchburg wants to make sure not only that it gets an at-large bid, but they also end up in a decent spot seating wise. Hornets got the chance to host a regional two years ago right here on Schellenberger Field. Came away as the winners of that region. As mentioned earlier, made it all the way to the national quarterfinal falling to Christopher Newport. But even in that season, Lynchburg did not capture the number one seed in the ODAC postseason tournament. The run to the title, though it was won by Lynchburg, did not go through Shelley. Lynchburg taking his time on this offensive possession. Shot clock's down to six. Now got to work in a bit of a hurry. Lynchburg won't get a shot off. Hastings losing the ball there. Hampton Sydney comes back on offense. They clear ahead. Pass is successful on its way to Jack Lemon. Correction on that last name, Jack Lamone. My apologies, that mispronunciation. That ball rolls out of bounds. That'll go down as another Hampton Sydney turnover. They started to shake those off in the second quarter, but they've come back to bite the visitors a few times here in the third. Lynchburg's had its fair share as well, but that's number 14 for the Tigers. As successful as Lynchburg has been offensively, you certainly don't want to give them any extra opportunities on that end.
Foyt with it now, works over to Hastings. That pass a little high, but corralled. Hastings having one of the best days of his very young career. He's going to try the wraparound cutoff, but he gets the inside, takes a lot of contact inside the crease. That's going to be a Lynchburg turnover. It'll be their 14th. Hampton Sydney defensively has certainly shown its flashes here more than several occasions, but at the end of the day, the score is a 12 1 Lynchburg advantage. And another cost turnover. It's Cole Nestor with it behind the back pass. Going to connect with Riley Mitchell. He shakes off his defender. Going to try another shot, and it's going to be high. Diving after it there. That effort looks like will give ball control to Hampton Sydney. Hustle play made by Drew Duffy. 6'1 junior with talented pedigree. His older brother again, last year's ODAC player of the year. Perfect season and an eight-game win streak on the line here for Hampton Sydney. Throw in the number one overall seed, as well as big resume building win. Really had trouble understanding why Hampton Sydney has not made its way into that USILA poll at this point in the year. Top team in the ODAC, 13 and three record. The win on the road over Washington and Lee. As Chris Arminio moves to pick that pass off. The play is stopped beforehand. Two penalty markers down on the field. So it looks like we will stay on this end. So we're going to talk things over the defensive unit. Can't say enough about their efforts here today. Darmenio, Nestor, Dylan Schuster making a couple plays. Dom Zingo, Chip Quinn. Many of them seniors capitalizing on one of their final times here on the home field. Will be the final time in the regular season, but they will hope for several ODAC postseason games. And I guess you never know. I don't want to rule out the chance of hosting a regional, but may take a couple more resume building wins. So this one, the score holds, will be a big nod in that direction. Ball a little off the mark there. Battle for it between Quinn, Zingo, a couple of Hampton Sydney players coming in, and it will be the Tigers that come out with it. Thought about that shot cut off. It's Thompson. Battle for it on the ground again. Hitting the turf is Hampton Sydney. Ground ball scooped up by the Lynchburg long stick. It's Zingo. A little bit of shoving back and forth between him and Hampton Sydney, but it is Lynchburg comes away with it. And it is Cole Nestor that clears it, surveys the scene, dumps off to Riley Mitchell, through whom almost all Lynchburg possessions start, either him or Grant Voigt coming out of the backfield there. Here's Mitchell going to try again. The tough day will continue for number one. Now 0 for 7. Gotten some good looks off, just has not found the back of the nylon so far. There's another shot once again off wide. Lynchburg continues possession. Would have been quite the shot had it connected right there before the end of the third quarter. Lynchburg got a big goal right before the half. Can't do it again here in the third. But it is a five-goal period for Lynchburg as the lead has grown 12-1. to one. Lynchburg in full control of this one with just 15 minutes to go. Don't go anywhere. Got the conclusion in just a few moments from LHSN. <laughs>
private education is too expensive? Think again. At the University of Lynchburg, you can get a personalized education for the cost of a state school. If you're commuting and you get our top scholarships, you could pay much less. And you get all that without the hassle of giant lecture halls. Our faculty know your name here and do more than just teach. You might even do research together and plan out your next career moves. The nine-time ODAC champion Lynchburg men's lacrosse team looking for the elusive three-peat this season and its title defense can certainly make that road a lot easier and a lot tougher on its opponents if they've got to go through Schellenberger Field. That's the way it looks right now. 15 minutes to play, but a big hill to climb for Hampton Sydney. It's a unfamiliar territory for the visitors who have been, I mean, really to say dominant would be an understatement and a disservice to what they've been as of late both the offensive and defensive ends. Held a very good Roanoke offense to just 11 last time out. 20-point performance after 20-point performance to add to it. It's Lynchburg with the first offensive possession of this fourth quarter. It's Rust with it right now. Takes a little contact. Still no goals today from Rust or Mitchell. Which certainly disappointing for them. But if you're a Lynchburg fan, if you're Coach Kadelka, if you're a Lynchburg player, that ball scoots its way all the way right into Tyler Hadley. Good thing he was looking for it. If he hadn't been, that one just might have snuck by everybody. But again, I mean, you almost have to be encouraged putting 12 goals up through three quarters when Riley Mitchell and Jake Rust have yet to get on the board. You get Dylan Wolf back into the action. He's checked in multiple occasions. Got a goal. That's going to be a big boost heading into the postseason. And just great to see Wolf healthy. Obviously, nothing else just for his own sake. You just know how much he loves the game, how much he loves to compete. He just adds a whole other level to this Lynchburg offense, even if he's not scoring, just with the energy he brings night in and night out. So great to see him back on the field it's one of the more fun moments of this season here at home Lynchburg looking for lucky number 13 won't find it there Finn Schmitz shot a little off the mark but a fantastic day for him four goals tied for the team lead there's the man he's tied with Riley Hastings scoring his 50th career point in this contest Mitchell's pass shot, not quite sure what that was, got away from him. Hampton Sydney takes over, Will Perry with it right now. Certainly not the day figure he imagined. Letting up 12 goals, making just four saves so far, but he has been one of the best to do it, not only this season, but throughout his career at Hampton Sydney. In his fifth year now, and again, that high praise from his head coach saying probably the best goalie that this program has ever seen. The storied program it is, nine NCAA tournament appearances, five ODAC championships, but it's been that man in goal on the other side, Tyler Hadley, that has stolen the show in the goalie battle. Cole Zacharias ahead to Hastings, his shot would have been a great look had it connected with Vandenberg. He was looking for assist number two. Instead, Hampton Sydney weathers the storm. Hastings taps the brakes. No need to work quickly at this stage of things. 11 goal lead for Lynchburg. You have to imagine even they did not predict that this would happen here tonight, but certainly fantastic senior night. Way to cap off a great day of athletics on Lakeside Drive. Battle for it at midfield there. Hampton Sydney continuing to compete. Really no doubts there. Again, 
despite what the score shows, this very much is a rivalry game. Both of these teams want this one badly, even if there wasn't a number one seed on the line. Visitors will compete down to the very last whistle, which is about 11 minutes from now. Lynchburg just looks to hang on. They'll get another defensive stop there. Trying to end the year on a three-game win streak. We're entering a postseason with more than a few teams that could potentially make a run. I mean, you go down the list, Washington and Lee currently the highest-ranked team in the polls at number eight. Fell to both of the teams on this field here tonight, but they've had a fantastic season. Obviously, Lynchburg, Hampton, Sydney, Roanoke, great offense. A lot of good playmakers there for the Maroons, and Randolph-Macon has made some noise throughout this season as well. So sure to be a very exciting playoff set to get underway in the coming week. Pretty unique seven-team field. Features a... Couple different scenarios of buys. Both of these two teams will get one. Lynchburg less than 10 minutes away now from clinching those hosting duties. Talk about implications of this game. You look at the Hampton-Sydney side of things. We mentioned resume a lot throughout today as a flag will fly here on this possession. Big battle there going on between Zacharias. He's the defensive player working against, can't quite see the number there for Hampton City. Looks like Drew Duffy. It's going to earn... And it will not be Zacharias. It will be number 31, Luke Meadows, applying the pressure there, just really not giving any space to work. So it'll be a man-up opportunity here for Hampton Sydney. Again, 24 man-up goals on the year. It's actually going to be two men up did not catch it but it looks like Henry Morendon will join his teammate there in the box so this so will be a very good opportunity for Hampton Sydney offensively but Lynchburg really regardless of what happens unless we get a big scoring run from Hampton Sydney down the stretch they are going to hold the Tigers to its lowest point total of the year that shot is off the mark, off the post. Hadley was there waiting for it. Ten saves on the day, allowing just that one goal. Arguably his best performance of the season as well. Looks to make save number 11. Gets his head in the action there. A little bit of pressure applied there to the Hampton Sydney player. The flag will fly. Empty net. Pandemonium down on the field there briefly. Conversation between Hadley and the official. And we're gonna get an explanation here. Lynchburg already two men down. How about that job though, still getting out of that possession unscathed, really just, and I feel like this term is very overused, but I'll use it one more time, microcosm for what today has been. There's that pressure applied against Tyler Hadley. It's gonna earn Actually, be even numbers here. I take that back. It'll be a man up opportunity actually for Lynchburg. Both of their two minor suspensions have been served. And now in the box, it is all by his lonesome Ray O'Brien 
for Hampton Sydney. Fantastic junior campaign, but he has been held quiet here today. Second in the ODAC in goals. Coach Kadelka called him one of the best midfielders in the country. Excuse me, attackers in the country. Just, just had a little bit of trouble here today. 46 goals on the year, though. Almost certain to be a first team all ODAC selection. Pass off the mark there. Hampton Sydney out and running now. Eight minutes to go in the game. Looking for the shot. It will not score. Hampton Sydney thought it might have. How about another pair of saves for Tyler Hadley? What a way to cap off his senior season. Taking over starting duties a season ago. It's a deep and extremely talented goalie room. He has pushed in practice every single day. Joined by fellow senior Patrick Moore, one of the best guys you'll meet on this Lynchburg lacrosse team. Moore, an All-American, Hadley can say the same. It's not every day that you're noted as a USILA honorable mention All-American. Have your starting spot lost. That is what happened to Patrick Moore, but could not have taken that on with any more grace. He's embraced his role here throughout his senior season as a leader on and off the field, and Hadley maintaining most of the duty between the posts, keeping that aspect of Lynchburg's game running like a well-oiled machine. Also worth noting, Moore has come in and earned himself a win on the year. Certainly still contributed in the backup role. Lynchburg again on offense. Riley Mitchell still looking for that first goal. Gotten more than a few shots off today. Hasn't found the back of the net. He's going to set a screen there behind the goal. Try to free up Spencer Vandenberg. Will not be successful. He's still with some heavy defense there applied on his backside. 14 on the shot clock. Schellenberger Field dropping eerily quiet here. Been a little bit without a goal now for Lynchburg. None in this quarter. Flag will fly again. Had a lot of those and Spencer Vandenberg. Makes me eat my words. Second goal of the day. And it is double figures in the scoring column for the Lynchburg freshman class. Sis will be credited to Riley Hastings, his sixth point of the day. He comes all the way around. Acts like he's going to double back, spins out of some trouble. Late in the shot clock, takes a couple hits, no problem. Shrugs him off, finds his teammate, and Spencer Vandenberg closes out the deal. Lynchburg's 13th goal of the day. Vandenberg with two, Hastings with four and a pair of assists. Schmidt with four as well. Been a fantastic day for the freshman crew on senior day. Seniors certainly making an impact as well. None bigger than Tyler Hadley. There between the posts, 13 saves to go along with 13 Lynchburg goals. He has allowed just one to squeeze through. It's going to be two now, though. Hadley misjudging on that one. And Patrick Haynes has his first score of the day and the first Hampton Sydney goal since the second quarter. Haynes came there, takes the feed, had the edge on Zacharias from start to finish. And that will end the day for Tyler Hadley. He has defended his final shot on Schellenberger Field. A giant round of applause from the Lynchburg sideline and fans in attendance. Well-deserved is an understatement. Heck of a career, heck of a night from Tyler Hadley. He has certainly got more left in the tank wherever the remainder of this season takes him and this Lynchburg team.
Contact there on the back of Menchaca. Shakes it off, retains the ball in possession for Lynchburg. Kirkland now with it. McCarthy into the game as well. Gotten some good PT here today. Clock ticks under five minutes to go. Kirkland's going to try one. Will not make its way even close to the goal. Good job defensively there by Hampton Sydney. Visitors trying to make it back to back goals here on the offensive side. Be the first time they've done so today. Not going to get that elusive ninth victory, but the regular season will still result in a tie for the school record in conference wins at eight. These two teams officially in the book will finish both at eight and one, but obviously the head-to-head -head looks like will go the way of Lynchburg. That shot is Patrick Moore now into the game in goal for Lynchburg, who we were just talking about a little bit ago. Going to get some reps here in his final game, final regular season game. I have to keep reminding myself of that here on Schellenberger Field. Going to try to defend a shot there. Misjudged it a bit, but it goes off the post. This one again shot wide. Hampton Sydney retains. Moore, 5.19 goal against average on the year. 68 save percentage. Again, not a ton of reps, but... At the end of the day, 68%, incredible mark. Like I said, fulfilling his role beautifully from start to finish this year. Also, very active on Twitter. If you're on there, I recommend giving Patrick Moore a follow. Always some great content coming out of number 41. My personal favorite are his ratings of opposing teams' locker rooms. But here offensively, Lynchburg is going to find itself one more goal. 2.42 to play here, and this time it's going to be Ethan Cotter. First goal of the night for the 5'9 senior out of Westchester, Pennsylvania. And it's goal number 14 for Lynchburg. We'll take a look at it again. It started in the hands of A.J. Stratton. He shakes off the double team, works it to his teammate who finishes off the deal. A.J. Stratton, the freshman, working it ahead to the senior. Ethan Cotter, special moment for him on senior night. But with 2.42, the Lynchburg lead remains 14-2. And we are going to take our final break of the evening. Conclusion in just a few moments on LHSN. When creating a sustainable future, your choices matter, even your choice of a college. The University of Lynchburg is the first college in Virginia to go carbon neutral. Our dining hall is green restaurant certified. We compost all of our food waste and purchase our electricity from landfill gas. Now we're turning a hazardous lake into a thriving urban wetland. When you choose Lynchburg, you leave a smaller footprint while building a better tomorrow. At the University of Lynchburg, we've lowered our tuition, so you get a better value for a great education. Come see our campus for yourself. Two forty-two to go on a magical senior night here from the University of Lynchburg and Schellenberger Field. Things could not have gone much better for Lynchburg in its regular season finale. Opposite can be said for Hampton Sydney, but a very talented team that can certainly make some waves in the remainder of this year. Their season by no means done. A trip to the NCAA tournament, certainly not out of the question. It's a team. And in its last appearance, certainly made some waves after getting there. 
back in 2017. A program best advancing to the third round. Sweet 16, if you will. Fresh faces into the game now for Lynchburg to close out these final 90 seconds. It's Cotter with it again now. He tries for his second goal. That will be stopped. Perry was ready for it, but I don't think it ever made its way to him. Tracking it down defensively there was Hampton Sydney keeping its goalkeeper clean. As we approach the final 60 seconds of this game, take a look down what the resume will round out as for Lynchburg. Again, it's going to be a 12-5 and regular season mark, 8-1 and in the conference. That will be good enough for the first place finish. The wins over Stevenson on the road at Cabrini against a very good Franklin and Marshall at the Mustang Classic. On the road over Washington and Lee in overtime. A win over Roanoke. Today's win over Hampton, Sydney. A pair of teams and those last two receiving votes in the national top 20. Spurg going to come up with another stop here. Morinden forces the turnover. Again, his senior day as well. Fantastic senior class for Lynchburg. They're looking for one more goal there. Won't quite come up with it, but. Adding to that resume piece, very close losses to both Salisbury and Christopher Newport. Obviously, you wish those were wins, but still solid results to tack onto the old strength of schedule, strength of record, all those good metrics. But as for the immediate task at hand, no worrying about that. It's starting to feel a lot like 2015 here for the Lynchburg men's lacrosse team. The road to the 2023 ODAC men's championship game will go through Lakeside Drive and Schellenberger Field for the first time since the aforementioned year that saw Lynchburg reach the national championship game. Certainly plenty of momentum over the final stretch of this regular season slate of games outscoring their opponents 62 to nine over the final three responding to that randolph macon loss really even better than i think anyone could have predicted and they will cap it off with a season finale victory on senior night over a rival with massive implications and happy to report to you this will not be our final time bringing you a game here live from Schellenberger Field on the men's lacrosse side. We'll also have women's lacrosse on LHSN. Second round of their tournament will come to you next Tuesday. But as for this one, we'll wrap things up. Tell you our final score. Lynchburg 14, Hampton Sydney 2. Want to extend special gratitude all season long to a fantastic job to our entire crew at LHSN. Director of Digital Media, Tim LaDuca. Also our Sports Information Director and Graduate Assistant and my director tonight, Sam Rice. The whole LHSN crew, certainly the best in the business. It's been a lot of fun so far through this regular season. And we will hope for more moments like this throughout the postseason. But until then... Have a good one, take care, and go Hornets.